I didn't show you make show you me making it because it's really straightforward. I just dumped a whole bag of frozen green beans on my tray here. Put on chicken breast. There's two salmon. So this is just a whole bag of frozen green beans. Some fish on here. Two of these are mahi mahi and two of these are salmon fillets. Um, I made some regular like basmati white rice back here. This is like half and half cauliflower rice with um peas and carrots and then I took like half a cup of this basmati rice and mixed it in with this because I do want some carbs just not like a crap ton I've been feeling like really gross lately and I realized all I've been eating is like pasta so I'm just trying to cut back for a day or two to like let my body slow down on its carb intake for a minute and then this is the um, marinade I put on our fish tonight you guys know I love my teriyaki marinades. I love the one from Aldi. I love this one. We make kebabs with this all the time. I put this on steak, mushrooms, onions, peppers, like pretty much everything. I love this stuff. It's a 15 minute marinade. So it's something that you could easily do when you come home from work. Just dump it on top of whatever protein, whatever vegetable, pop it in the oven or on the grill in the smoker and it's perfect. I literally love this stuff so much. But that is what this meal is for tonight. So I just put, or should start, these are my pie crusts. I get them from Aldi. They're really good. Um, the only thing I notice is, or that I know is homemade pie crust fills up everybody a lot more than these do. Um, but I put one pie crust down and it comes with two in it and then I'm gonna put this one on top. I'm just waiting for my chicken, but I have my gravy in here mixing with all my delicious veggies. And then I'm gonna shred my chicken, put my chicken in here, dump everything in my pie, top it with the other crust, poke some holes in it, which I'll show you guys, pop it in the oven for whatever the pie crust instructions say. And uh, then you have a delicious, ready to go pot pie. So tonight for supper, I'm making a pot pie. I have shared a ton of different ways how I make this, but the basis is all the same. I'm using one bag of these peas and carrots. I steamed them in my microwave um, for three minutes. I've got them in here. I have Two chicken breasts in the oven right now, cooking away. And um, I forgot, I pre-make actual chicken gravy. Usually when I make this meal, I get a big chicken, like a whole chicken. I'll roast it in the oven with like root vegetables and then I'll boil the bones from that chicken down, down to make like actual chicken stock. And then I will add the chicken stock in with flour and make like a chicken roux or chicken gravy. Um, and then I freeze it. I have uh, like three gallons of frozen chicken gravy in my freezer. I forgot to take it out this morning. It's not that big of a deal, so I'm cheating. I like to keep these McCormick packets in my cabinet in all different kinds of flavors, but I happen to have some chicken gravy. So I'm gonna cheat, use this chicken gravy, and I'm also cheating. Yes, I'll read that to you in one second, okay? And I'm also gonna cheat and make and use pre-made pie dough. But if you want to see how I make like a full from scratch pot pie, I'll link um, a what's for dinner video down below where I actually make all of my meals uh, or I make the whole pot pie from scratch. But that's what we're doing tonight. Here's our finished pot pie. I just butter the top when it comes out. But we're just going to scoop this up and serve it. I'm actually going to... Scoop it up, put it on plates, and let it cool for a minute because it's fresh out of the oven, so it's going to be really hot. But that's our pot pie. So tonight for dinner, we're doing stuffed jumbo shells. I shared how I cooked this in a recent meal prep video, so I'll link that up here for you guys if you want to see exactly how I make this. And we're going to eat a side of corn with ours. So this is what we're going to do for supper tonight. Super easy and quick, honestly, especially if you meal prep this. It takes like... 10 minutes to warm up and uh, heat up your corn here as well. So super easy and a new family favorite.
So we're back and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna finish off this chicken sandwich meal. So all I did here was shred my chicken. That's done. Moving on to chicken gravy. So I just took some of this chicken broth that I already had in my freezer um, and dumped it right in my pot here. It's warming up now. If you don't have pre-made chicken stock or you don't have chicken stock, um, take some of this soup base here, any kind, bouillon cubes, anything. Um, mix some of that with water. They'll have instructions on how to do so. It's really easy. And some good old flour. What I'm gonna do is I'm heating up my beef bay or my chicken base here. I'm going to slowly add in a little bit of flour till it gets to a thicker consistency like gravy. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more of this chicken base. It just brings the flavor back up because sometimes when you're adding fl um, flour, it can kind of dull the flavor of your chicken base. So I like to add a little bit more just to bring that flavor back up to it. And that's uh, basically how I make any type of gravy at all. If you're a mom and you don't cook with a baby hanging on your feet, are you really a mom though? I'm not big help. Are you my big helper in the kitchen? I'm a mom. Are you my big helper in the kitchen? Right. Chicken gravy is done. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's definitely thick. It's delicious. I'm just going to pour This would definitely be awesome over mashed potatoes as well, cauliflower rice, mashed, <laughs> mashed cauliflower. If you're doing more low carb, I'm gonna eat this on buns. The kids like theirs on crescent rolls. I also made some baked beans to go with it. And because I'm eating mine on buns, I kinda wanted french fries, so I have french fries going in my air fryer right now. Here's this meal, the chicken sandwiches on buns. I'm eating mine with fries. Me too. The kids are eating their rolls and french fries and some baked beans, but that's how we're topping off this meal. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. And I'm wearing that taco. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Strike it in the way.